Welcome to Heal Your Heart Treatment Center. Today in the video, uh, we are going to discuss about the very hot topic which is currently going on, um, emergency bypass surgery. So what is this emergency bypass surgery and who are, who are all need this emergency bypass surgery? So first we should know about what is bypass surgery. Bypass surgery is a highly invasive surgical procedure to improve the blood flow to the heart muscle. Even though there are many other options available for these patients with heart disease is a medical management or angioplasty or EECP treatment, certain people would need to undergo bypass surgery. So during this procedure, they take a graft. This graft means it's a blood vessel. These blood vessels are taken either from your leg, which is called as a saphenous graft, or it can be taken from your arm, which is called as a radial graft, or it is taken from your chest, it is called an internal mammary graft. These grafts are positioned across the blocked arteries so that the blood is uh, detoured across the blocked artery without affecting the block. So in bypass surgery, they will not remove the blockage but they were able to detour the blood across the block artery through a new graft. By doing so, they can re-establish the blood flow to the heart muscle. Now, Bypass surgery is not a very simple procedure as, the, as it sounds itself, it's a surgical procedure. So it does carry some risk. Usually these bypass surgeries are done in an elective manner. It means if the patients are not responding to medical management, they try to stabilize the patient. After a couple of weeks or couple of months, the patient is asked to come for a re-evaluation and then they do this procedure called bypass surgery. Only in certain condition, this bypass surgery is done on an emergency basis, which is called the emergency bypass surgery or a urgent bypass surgery. But currently across the globe, it is not routinely performed. The reason is because of the high risk involved in this procedure. During this emergency bypass surgery, rather than normal 1 to 3 percent risk of mortality or death. Uh, in emergency bypass surgery, this risk goes up to 10 to 20 percent. And also during this emergency bypass surgery, you may require some cardiac support like intraiotic balloon pump, which will further increase the complication and also prolongs your stay in the hospital. And then finally, the risk of dialysis or renal failure. This patient may have a higher risk of going for a renal failure and end up in dialysis. This is almost 17 percent. So because the risk is very high, these type of emergency bypass surgery are not routinely done. If you look at all the bypass surgery across the globe, the emergency bypass surgery will only be around 1 to 3 percent or we can say less than 3 percent. Now who does require an emergency bypass surgery? Sometimes when the patient has an ongoing ischemia. So let me put it in a simple terms. Ongoing ischemia means there is a reduction in blood flow and this reduction in blood flow could not be addressed or treated by medical management or other supportive measure. So when they are not able to do so then what will happen is the blood flow consistently keep reducing and the patient experience severe symptoms. The chest pain get worsen and worsen as the day progress by and now we have to take a decision because this patient cannot able to con uh, control the chest pain by medication and sometimes they may also not a candidate for a angioplasty because of the vessels are too thin or the vessel is not amendable for putting a stent. So now sometimes when we do an angiogram it may, it may lead to a complication. So angiogram sometimes may lead to a vessel rupture or damaging the vessel and when you try to do an angioplasty. Uh, this is a procedure where you open the blood vessel and after opening the blood vessel we position a stent and this is called angioplasty with stent. When these procedures were attempted and there is a complication arised because of this procedure like rupture of the vessels or other uh, related problem towards a blood vessel then you do not have any other option. You have to immediately shift the patient to a bypass surgery and we have to perform the procedure because the vessels are damaged. Certain times when we do an angiogram, we find out the main blood vessel which called left main coronary artery. The left main vessel is closed means it is where the blood vessels are originating. 
at the origin itself if there is a 50 to 70 percent block then there is a high chance the patient may have a massive attack or the pain may not subside so in this case also emergency bypass surgery is done so as i said emergency bypass is still done as a procedure very rarely and if there is a proper indication and there is a high complication they are not routinely done because of this high complication rates and only around less than 3% of the surgery of the, this emergency bypass surgery is done on world around. ஏசோமெடிடெக் இசிபி ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் சென்டர்